Hi, this is Joan Hunter. Welcome to another exciting episode of Miracles Happen. This week, we are honoring our veterans. And we appreciate all of you that have ever served in the armed services. And, and I just want to really, number one, personally, thank you. We have some amazing testimonies of how God has moved miraculously in many veterans' lives. But I also want to tell you, this is not just for veterans. It's just for you, too. God is a very powerful healer. And as you'll hear today, he can bring freedom and healing from all forms of trauma, PTSD, domestic trauma, domestic violence, social anxiety, uh, sudden loss, and broken heart syndrome. And all of these are rooted in trauma. And, and you know what? None of them are too big for God. God wants to heal you. He heals them all. Every area of your life that is not, that is, has been traumatized, today is your day to be completely, completely, completely set free. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome to Miracles Happen. Joan Hunter has been traveling the world in the healing ministry for more than 45 years. Be aware of what the enemy is trying to do to you and say, no more. She is hosted around the world for healing and miracle services because wherever she goes, miracles happen. Joan shares her tenacious faith in how to pray for the sick. Bringing people here and sending them out to the four corners of the earth. That's my job. She traveled the world with her parents, Charles and Francis Hunter, for over 30 years. I expect a miracle tonight. Joan sees healing, signs, and wonders happen all the time in the name of Jesus, and she wants to share this with you. As anointed as I am, so are you. Whether it's filmed on location at Joan Hunter Ministries in Tomball, Texas, or from around the world, you can be sure to hear good news and receive the resounding message that miracles happen. God has anointed in the area of healing, body, mind, soul, spirit, and finances. So stay tuned and join us for this week's extraordinary episode of Miracles Happen. God is a God of hope who heals the body, spirit, and soul. Are you ready for your miracle? Miracles Happen. Trauma comes in many forms and can enter your life in, in a lot of different areas in different ways. Today, we're going to focus on veterans and honoring them. But truthfully, this teaching and these testimonies today can help anyone who is dealing with any and all forms of PTSD, any other forms of trauma, anxiety, stress, fear, or brokenness. PTSD is mostly associated in our heads uh, from veterans who have been in serious battle or on extended dangerous assignments that have been created a shock in their emotional system, mental state, etc. You're going to hear a few testimonies today about how God has healed people in that area. But what you may not completely realize is that PTSD can also come from prolonged periods of stress and through other open doors of pain, heartache, traumatic loss. Most of PTSD comes through domestic violence or different things is even as a child all the way up into adulthood. So this is a time for you to get completely healed and set free of every area like that. I want to, one of the ladies I've talked with, her name is Carmen. She is amazing. She has shared her testimony on Miracles Happen before, but it's absolutely phenomenal with what God has done in her life. Now, where Carmen is concerned, uh, she happened to come to a meeting in Arizona from Connecticut. I'm from Texas, and I was speaking in Arizona, and I said, is there somebody here that has a neck problem? She raised her hand out of, I don't know, 1,000, 1,500 people. I said, you, you come on up here. And I said, well, how did you hurt your neck? My, my mind thinking, car accident, you know, something like that. And so when she told me what had happened to her, that she was in Afghanistan, grabbed, slammed to the ground, and violated. 
and by Afghanistanians. And, and it was a really horrific time. She ended up and had to have three vertebrae removed from her neck and upper back because of the damage that it caused when they slammed her to the ground. And I'm like, mm, that's not what I was expecting. But you know what? Nothing is too hard for God. I prayed for her, put my hands, I prayed for the trauma in here, put my hands around her neck, commanded the height to be restored right there in front of everybody. She grew at least three inches, which is the height of three vertebrae. And God's totally completely healed her. Her neck has been healed. Uh, her whole life has been healed. And what's interesting is that she was so traumatized that her husband had to literally walk her on the plane into her seat. She could not function alone. She had been on disability for over 15 years. And so she gets off the plane in Arizona. Her mother gets on the plane, escorts her off. That's the condition she was in. The neck was nothing compared to the trauma that she had been through and PTSD. So she was totally, completely, instantly healed. It was absolutely amazing what God did. She's since then been ordained, ministers with me a lot, uh, ministered with me in Israel this past year, and, um, and then different cities throughout, a lot of times in Massachusetts and so forth. God is using her in an incredible way. So fun part of the story is she called her husband, and she says, I'm healed. And he's like, great. The reality of 15 years and a three-minute prayer for her to be completely healed like that is really hard to believe. And so after, you know, he says, I'll come get you off the plane when you come home. She goes, you don't need to because I'm healed. Right. Okay. So anyway, long story short, he did come and greet her, helped her off the plane. And she realizes that she does not need help on the plane and off the plane. And going to Israel by herself, meaning there was other of us that met her there. But the point is for her to do anything by herself, even go to the grocery store, is truly a miracle. There's a whole lot more to the story, what God has done after, you know, through this prayer. And it took her husband a few months to get used to the idea that she was actually really healed. And you know what? All of our veterans need prayer to break off trauma, not just because of the pressures of the military service, but also the brokenness and pain of leaving behind their family. I mean, I can't imagine having children and then being gone for six months or eight months, maybe a year, and not seeing my children. And they're young. I, that, to me, I just can't even fathom that as a woman. And there are many women who are involved in military. But also as a man, to leave his wife, to leave his children. And they come back and it's like, you're the guy who's been seeing on mommy's phone and not really knowing who their dad is. Of course, PTSD is more severe for those who have suffered through war or have been in some form of battle. But for many, war zones can be in the mind, in the home, in the workplace, in the neighborhood. And the good news is this, that no matter, no matter the source or stress of trauma, PTSD, fear, anxiety, you don't have to live with it. You don't have to live with PTSD. You don't have to live with night terrors, flashbacks, or any of the bad memories that haunt you. You don't have to live with the physical sickness that can impact your body through stress, trauma, or fear, or anxiety. You know what? You can be free. You can be free. I just wanna share some hope with you today. I wanna to encourage you. We have, I have one on the table with me, we have some prayed over anointed blankets. They say miracles happen. This particular one says for veterans. We have lots of other colors that just miracles happen. But miracles happens for veterans. We have very special veterans packages. One of my books is Miracles for Veterans. Absolutely amazing book of testimonies what's going on with these people and how to get them healed. There's a testimony in, uh, in here by Renee who lost her brother and the trauma, the PTSD that it brought into their home and then also into her, her mo their mom's life. 
And then we've got Miracles Happen for Veterans t-shirts too. And we also, when we have what we have what's called the Veterans Packet, which is the book, the blanket, and this right here is an MP3 specifically designed for soaking music for veterans that have been diagnosed with PTSD. Well, this is to help you cope. This is to help get you healed. This is to help go to every area in your life to get it completely healed, which is really awesome. I want to share with you a testimony of this guy when I was in England a few years ago. And I, he, I said, does anybody here have such and such? And so he came up to the front and his wife yells from the back, you have fibromyalgia. And he crossed his arms, looked at her and went, mm. you know, we are never, ever going to get anybody else to pray for fibromyalgia. Everybody and anybody. He heads up the healing rooms of England. Okay, and he says, we have exhausted every single person to pray with me for fibromyalgia. I can't believe we've agreed never, ever to bring it up again. So I told him, I said, when did it happen? Always go back to the time when it happened. And he says, when I was in the military, this guy came and was ready to attack. And I picked up my gun and I shot him. It's as real right now when I'm telling you this story as if it had just happened this morning. And I said, there's the door. Everybody's prayed for fibromyalgia, but nobody ever prayed for the trauma. So I laid hands on him and I cursed the spirit of trauma. And I also said, Father, wipe out that memory of him shooting the other soldier that was attacking. It was, it was the, the enemy that was attacking. And he was out to kill him. And so I prayed for him, and he goes, <laughs> wow, every bit of the pain. I pray for cellular memory of the pain, too. Every bit of the pain left. And I said, now I want you to go back to your tower in your mind. And it had been, I don't know, 30 years. I said, I want you to go back up with the tower. And I said, what do you see? gone. What he had envisioned for 30 years was now out of his memory bank. And yes, he got completely healed of fibromyalgia. Joan Hunter Ministries travels around the world sharing the healing power of God. Joan Hunter Ministries is touching lives all over the world through live streaming events, books and teachings, and our prayer call center where miracles happen daily. All of this is made possible by your prayers and support. When you partner with Joan Hunter Ministries, you not only bless those who receive the message, but you open a supernatural flow of blessing into your own life. Today is the day that my God's going to supply all of my needs according to His riches and glory. Today is is the day that God's going to point to me as an example of His incredible wealth. To become a monthly partner with Joan Hunter Ministries, call 1-281-789-7500 or go to joanhunter.org. Today is a day of alignment. Today is a day for financial breakthrough. Today is a day for your healing. Today is a day I don't have to wait any longer for the promises. Go to joanhunter.org to give a one-time gift or text any amount you'd like to give to 281 771-1507. Become a partner with Joan Hunter Ministries today. Miracles are happening everywhere, and now you can proclaim it everywhere you go with the Miracles Happen t-shirt and blanket. The t-shirts come in all sizes and a variety of colors, as well as with rhinestones and without. The Miracles Happen t-shirt is available for men and women. Get your shirt today and watch as God opens doors for you to pray for the sick around you. Both the Miracles Happen t-shirts and blanket are a constant reminder for all of us that miracles happen everywhere. And check out His Healing Promises. His Healing Promises is a selection of scriptures on healing read by Joan Hunter. If you need encouragement about your healing or faith to trust in God in a difficult time, this is for you. Let your spirit be lifted, your hope restored as you listen to God's healing promises over your life. Go to miraclesappen.tv now to order your Miracles Happen t-shirt, blanket, or your copy of His Healing Promises. Or call 281-789-7500.
Hi, this is Joan Hunter. I just want to tell you, this is the most exciting year that I have ever experienced in my entire life. People say, retire, no, refire. This is the year that God has called this ministry to go way beyond what we've ever gone before. We are planning on right now, we have six countries in Africa scheduled. We have Pakistan scheduled, uh, Iceland scheduled, and many other places scheduled for next for the year 2023. You have an opportunity to be a part of that and helping us get to where we need to go and feed the people spiritually, teach them about healing of finances, teach them about the healing of their body, not only that, but their mind and their soul, and getting rid of trauma. One of the times that we have been in Africa to pray over the trauma and to see the people totally, completely set free of the trauma and the fear is absolutely amazing. I want you to be a part of what we're doing here at Joan Hunter Ministries in 2023. You can donate at joanhunter.org. Be sure to tag it missions. Any of you that would donate over $100 or more, then I want to send you a copy of this book. And this is an awesome, amazing, miraculous book, Healings, Miracles, and Supernatural Experiences. Subtitle is Healing for Haiti. It's our experience that we had in Haiti. Uh, and there was many people that didn't have the money to go. We ended up and took 38 people who had to believe God for it. The, the expense was $250,000. We went down there totally debt free. And I'm, I'm going to encourage you. It's going to be probably somewhere between one and a half million to $2 million for our outreaches next year as we touch the world. And you get to be a part of that. And the millions of people that are going to come to Jesus because of your donation and setting us around the world. And God bless you. Thanks for praying about it. God bless. People are really getting healed. People are going in. And you're saying, like, for real? And then get healed to these blankets? Well, let me tell you what. The word says pieces of Paul's clothing. When they were laid on people, they were healed. Now, these aren't Paul's clothing, and nor did I wear them. But what this is, is that we have laid hands, I've laid hands on every single blanket that we sell out of our ministry, no matter what the color. But when it's the green ones, specifically for veterans, we spend a lot of extra times and honoring and wanting God to bless but also heal the veterans. But see, whatever it is we're in, that you're dealing with, God can heal you through any point of contact. These blankets are just, it's a point of contact. And when you cover with them, I, I remember a story named Jesse. He's, his wife's name is Jesse and his name is Jesse. Their story is in here. How completely traumatized he was and they didn't give him any hope of ever getting free of PTSD. His wife got a blanket. It's a cute little story. His wife, Jessie, got a blanket, and he fell asleep. She got up, put the blanket on him, and then when he started tossing around, waking up, she got up, took the blanket off, kind of did it, you know, stealth, and then put the blanket up. So the next day, he says, we asked, we said, all right, did you enjoy your blanket? He goes, what blanket? He says, so she finally fessed up that she got on the blanket, and he actually slept on it. He goes, I don't know why I feel so good today, but that's why I feel so good today. And, and he's totally, completely healed. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal with what God has done in his life, in their life, and how God has literally supernaturally blessed them. It's really awesome. If you're a veteran and you're watching today, I want you to know three things. God is close to you. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. Boy, am I glad for that scripture, Psalm 34, 18. God's compassion and love is there for you. For no one is cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great is his unfailing love, for he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to anyone. That's in Lamentations 3, 31 through 33. Number three is God wants to take all trauma, 
all PTSD, all stress, night terrors, anxiety. He wants to take it away. On the cross, he bore all of our sicknesses. As he was beaten, all of our iniquities and everything was on him. If you or someone that you love has served in the military, number one, we want to thank you for doing that. And we speak, speak blessings and healing over your life today. We know the sacrifices that you have made have been a whole lot bigger. And, and being away from your loved ones or being in battle and different things like that in high stress situations. I mean, you can watch the news of what's going on and just get stressed out. And all of that difficulty, not to mention the strain on your family, your physical body, etc. As you have heard today, God is a God of miracles. And we believe miracles happen. Miracles happen for us. Miracles happened for Carmen, Sammy, Renee, the, the guy in England. And you know what? Today is your day. Miracles happen for you too. And as you're watching today, just say that with me. Miracles happen for me. What I have been praying for today is my day. And I just want to, you know, put your name in there. Miracles happen for Joan. Put your name in there. Make it personal. God's desire is for you to walk in total and complete healing from all the trauma that you've experienced in your life, whether it's from the military, domestic violence, um, sudden and traumatic loss of something or someone, some, you know, it's, it's painful. Divorce, uh, abuse, abandonment. You don't have to keep that pain locked up on the inside of you. In your heart or your mind, your body, no longer. God wants to heal you today. I just want to encourage you that if you are or currently experiencing any form of PTSD from any kind of a situation, you can be healed. And you know what? Today is your day. I want to pray for you right now. If you're not a veteran, you're dealing with, you got some PTSD, or prolonged trauma, pain, etc. This prayer is for you too. I want to encourage you to put your hand over your heart right now. And we're going to come into agreement. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I send the word of healing to every single person that's within the sound of my voice. No matter when this is played, no matter when they hear it, your anointing will remain on this video. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse any and all forms of trauma, stress, PTSD. We remove the label of PTSD right now. We remove the labels that people have put on us. You can't do anything. You are disabled. This is your day to remove the label of disabled. Remove the label of PTSD. Traumatized, abused, abandoned. Right now, today is your day. And I curse every bit of trauma in your life, in your body, in your mind. Father, erase those images Erase those images of whether being hit, beaten by a spouse, a parent, or different situations that they've experienced in battle. Erase all of that. I, I curse any symptom of PTSD. Night terrors, I command all the night terrors to go. The word says that you give your beloved sweet sleep. Sweet sleep, not traumatized sleep, not restless sleep, sweet sleep. Sweet, restful, peaceful, 
sleep. Some of you haven't experienced that for years. Now is your time. Sleep apnea, insomnia, gone in Jesus' name. Any and all form of cellular memory. And I'm, I'm sensing some of you have even been diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I curse fibromyalgia, the spirit of fibromyalgia, spirit of pain, chronic fatigue syndrome, hopelessness, depression, every bit of that, even suicide, I command it to be gone in Jesus' name. Right now, in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for restoring every single person, healing their body in every, every area. And I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Praise him. When you go to bed tonight, Father, I thank you that I'm going to have sweet sleep. I thank you, Father, that PTSD is a thing of my past. It's not going to keep me from my future. Any assignment of death over your destiny is now broken off of you in Jesus' name. I speak restored vision. I'm not referring about natural vision. Restored vision of what God's called you to do. Father, I just thank you. I thank you for restoring finances that could have been made if they had a regular job at home. Restoring different finances that they've lost through the years. Father, I thank you for supernaturally blessing our veterans and every single person watching. And I just, I appreciate you watching. And I want to remind you of what we call our veterans package. You get the Miracles Happen blanket, you get the book, and you get the MP3. It's got an actual MP3 in here. It's it downloadable. You can listen to it in your car, wherever. Once again, great music. These are very anointed. We have blankets that also say miracles happen in different colors. Excellent investment if you know somebody that has, that has been or is a veteran. And I just want to tell you once again, thank you for serving our country. We speak blessings and healing over your life today and restoration in every area in Jesus' name. I want to thank you so much for watching. And I pray you have been very blessed today. And we'll see you next week for another episode of Miracles Happen. Miracles Happen. Thanks for watching Miracles Happen. Contact us at miraclesHappen.tv or give us a call at 1 281 789 7500 or connect with Joan on Facebook at facebook.com slash Joan Hunter. And make sure to join us next week for Miracles Happen. God is a God of hope who heals the body, spirit, and soul. Are you ready for your miracle? Miracles happen.